They say ignorance is bliss and you're about to find out why. Because once you see what this car can do, every vehicle in your driveway is going to look like it's from the Stone Age. Meet the IML6. It is, without exaggeration, the most technologically advanced sedan you've never heard of. While we are celebrating heated steering wheels, this thing has a battery that adds itself, yes, adds capacity automatically. It has semi-solid state battery tech that charges faster than you can believe. It has a suspension system that erases the road beneath you. We're talking about 0 to 60 in 2.74 seconds. We're talking about a thousand plus kilometers of range. And we're talking about AI integration so advanced it feels like science fiction. And the price? The price is going to make you question every financial decision you've ever made. So lock in, pay attention, and prepare yourself, because what I'm about to show you is the future, and the future is leaving us behind. Let's start with the face of this machine, because it looks like nothing else on the road. This is IM's cosmic rune design philosophy, and it's bold in a way Western cars are afraid to be. Look at the front end. It's smooth, flowing, and almost organic. The headlights are these intricate LED matrix units with over 260 individual elements each. They don't just turn on, they perform. When you unlock the car, the lights illuminate in sequence, creating this cascading wave effect. It's like the car is waking up and greeting you. Most manufacturers give you basic LED strips. IM gave this car intelligent, expressive eyes that can project patterns, communicate with pedestrians, and even display animations. The front fascia is completely smooth with no traditional grill because this is an EV that doesn't need to gulp air. Instead, you have this subtle intake vent at the bottom for cooling, and the entire front is sculpted to channel air efficiently. And see that sensor cluster on the roof? That's not just a camera array, that's a full LiDAR and radar suite. We're talking about next-gen solid-state LiDAR with a 300-meter range and millimeter-level precision. This car doesn't just see the road, it predicts it. It's constantly scanning, mapping, learning. It's not a car, it's a rolling supercomputer with an AI brain that never sleeps. Now, come around to the side, and this is where you'll understand why this car is special. You're looking at one of the most aerodynamically efficient production sedans on Earth. The drag coefficient is 0.21 CD. For context, a Mercedes EQS is 0.20, a Tesla Model S is 0.208. This is right there with the best, and you can see the engineering at work. Look at the roofline. It flows in one continuous arc, creating a sleek fastback silhouette that hides the car's size. The door handles are fully flush and motorized. They glide out when you approach and retract seamlessly when you drive away. The side mirrors are traditional, but they're sculpted like airplane wings to reduce drag. And check out these wheels. These are 20-inch turbine-style aero wheels with a two-tone finish. They look high-end, but they're engineered to smooth airflow around the wheel wells. The size is substantial. This car is 5.10 meters long, which is longer than a BMW 5 Series. But because of the proportions and that swooping roofline, it doesn't look massive. It looks athletic, poised, like a panther ready to spring. It's big, but it wears its size beautifully. Move to the rear, and the design just keeps impressing. The width of the rear haunches gives this car an aggressive, planted stance. The tail light is a full-width LED bar, but it's not a simple strip. It has this three-dimensional crystalline structure that refracts light beautifully. When you brake, the entire bar illuminates in stages, creating this pulsing effect. It's theatrical. It's mesmerizing. But look at this integrated spoiler lip on the trunk. It's subtle but functional, designed to manage airflow separation at high speeds and improve stability. And underneath, there's a clean diffuser panel that helps manage the air exiting from beneath the car. It doesn't look like a boring sedan from the back. It looks like a GT car pretending to be practical. And standing here, I can't help but feel frustrated. Why are Western manufacturers so conservative with design? Why do we accept boring when this level of artistry exists? It feels like we're settling for less. But before we step inside, we need to talk about what makes this thing move, because the specs are genuinely shocking. 
the IML6 sits on SAIC's Nebula platform and comes with a dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The total output is 579 kilowatts, which translates to 776 horsepower. That's serious power. It rockets from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, in 2.74 seconds. That's quicker than a Porsche 911 Turbo S. That's McLaren territory. And this is a luxury sedan. The dual motors provide intelligent torque vectoring, meaning the car can send power exactly where it's needed in real time. If you dive into a corner aggressively, the system can break the inside wheels and accelerate the outside ones, pivoting you through the turn like you're on a slot car track. It's physics-bending technology that makes the car feel telepathic. And the range? Oh man, the range. This is where things get unreal. The IML6 is equipped with a semi-solid-state battery from IM's proprietary tech division. The capacity is 133 kilowatt hours, and the range on the CLTC cycle is over a thousand kilometers. That's 621 miles. Even adjusting for real-world driving and EPA standards, you're looking at 500 plus miles easily. You could drive from San Francisco to Los Angeles and back on a single charge. That's Tesla Roadster 2.0 territory, range that makes range anxiety obsolete. But here's the kicker. The battery tech itself is revolutionary. It's a semi-solid state design, which means it uses a hybrid of liquid and solid electrolytes. This allows for higher energy density, faster charging, and improved safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. And because of the advanced thermal management system, the battery actually gets more efficient over time. The car learns your driving patterns and optimizes battery chemistry dynamically. It's like the battery evolves the more you drive. The charging speed is absurd, thanks to an 800 volt plus architecture and support for 400 kilowatt plus ultra fast charging. You can add 400 kilometers, 250 miles in just 12 minutes. 12 minutes is barely enough time to stretch your legs and grab a snack. You're not waiting, you're just pausing. But forget the power and the range. The most insane feature of this car is the suspension. It's called IM's Cloud Dynamics System, and it's a fully active electromagnetic suspension setup. Traditional cars use hydraulic dampers and springs, metal and oil reacting to bumps. The IM L6 throws that ancient tech in the trash. This uses electromagnetic actuators at each wheel that can adjust damping, ride height, and stiffness a thousand times per second. The system uses forward-facing cameras and LiDAR to scan the road ahead and predict bumps, potholes, and imperfections. It adjusts the suspension preemptively before you even reach the obstacle. Hit a pothole, the system lifts that wheel over it before you feel anything. The sensation is described as floating. You could drive over railroad tracks while balancing a glass of water on the dash and it wouldn't spill. It's magic. It defies logic. It makes a Rolls-Royce feel primitive. And because the system is so advanced, it can also counter body roll in corners. The car stays perfectly level no matter how hard you turn. It's like gravity doesn't apply. Journalists who've driven it say it feels like driving on a cushion of air. Okay, let's step inside, because if the outside is futuristic, the interior is straight out of a sci-fi movie. The first thing that hits you is the space. It's enormous. The cabin feels airy and open, with flowing surfaces and minimal clutter. You're surrounded by premium materials. Napa leather, real wood trim, brushed aluminum accents. The build quality is obsessive. The panel gaps are tighter than anything from Germany. There are no squeaks, no rattles, just this vault-like solidity. And the screens. Prepare yourself. The dashboard features a tri-screen setup. In the center, there's a massive 15.05-inch AMOLED touchscreen that's angled toward the driver. The colors are vivid, the resolution is pixel perfect, and the interface is buttery smooth. The driver gets a 10.5-inch digital instrument cluster that's fully customizable, and the passenger? They get their own 12.3-inch entertainment screen where they can watch videos, browse the web, or control the music, all without distracting the driver. Three screens working in perfect harmony. It's like a triple monitor setup for your car. 
But here's where it gets wild. The car has an AI voice assistant called IMS AI Copilot. It's not a dumb voice command system. It's a conversational AI that learns your habits, preferences, and routines. You can say, I'm cold, and it adjusts the temperature. You can say, I'm tired, and it suggests a rest stop or activates a massage program. You can have full conversations with it. It's like having Jarvis from Iron Man in your car. Let's talk about these seats. They're not seats, they're ergonomic thrones. They're multi-adjustable with lumbar support, thigh support, and side bolsters that hug you perfectly. They're heated, ventilated, and they have a massage function with eight different programs. One of the programs is a hot stone mode that mimics the feeling of a spa treatment. The headrests have built-in speakers for the 23-speaker sound system, creating a 3D audio experience. When you play music, it surrounds you. The bass is deep, the mids are clear, the highs are crisp. It's concert hall quality. And the ambient lighting? It's not just a strip, it's a dynamic multi-zone lighting system with 256 colors. It changes based on driving mode, music, or your mood. You can set it to pulse with the beat or fade gradually. It's immersive. Now, jump into the back seat because this is where luxury meets practicality. The legroom is absurd. I'm six feet tall and I have over six inches of clearance between my knees and the front seat. I can fully stretch out. The rear seats are electrically adjustable, heated, ventilated, and they recline for maximum comfort. There's a fold-down center armrest with cup holders, USB-C ports, and wireless charging pads. But look at this, there's a center console in the back with a touchscreen that controls climate, lighting, and entertainment. You have your own domain back here. Oh, and the panoramic glass roof? It stretches the entire length of the cabin and it's electrochromic. You can adjust the tint electronically from clear to opaque in seconds. It's like having a sunroof that obeys your commands. The insulation is incredible. When you close the door, the world disappears. At highway speeds, it's whisper quiet. You can have a normal conversation without raising your voice. It's a sensory sanctuary. And practicality? Yes, despite all the tech and performance, it's still a usable sedan. The trunk is massive, 555 liters, bigger than most competitors. You can fit golf bags, luggage, or a Costco haul. There's a frunk too, 61 liters in the front for charging cables or gym gear. The interior storage is smart, deep door pockets, a cavernous center console, hidden compartments everywhere. So we've established this car is a technological marvel. We've established it's faster than supercars, more luxurious than six-figure sedans, and more advanced than anything from traditional brands. Now let's talk about the price, and this is where you're going to lose your mind. In the United States, a Tesla Model S Plaid starts around $90,000. A Porsche Taycan Turbo is $185,000. A Mercedes EQS 53 4Matic Plus is over $150,000. So how much is this semi-solid state battery AI-powered levitating suspension masterpiece from China? In China, the IM Lick 6 starts at approximately 229,900 RMB. Let me convert that for you. That's about $32,000. $32,000! For the top spec max performance version with 776 horsepower and 1,000 plus kilometers of range, about 339,900 RMB, roughly $47,000. $47,000 for a car that competes with vehicles costing three to four times as much. It's a value proposition so aggressive, it feels like a market disruption event. Even fully loaded, it doesn't crack $55,000 in China. It's almost insulting to Western pricing. And here's the gut punch. We can't have it. Due to tariffs, regulations, and geopolitics, the IM Lick 6 isn't coming to America. And if it did, the price would balloon to 80,000 plus. But knowing it exists, knowing what's possible, you can't help but feel robbed. We're paying premiums for outdated tech, while China is driving the future for the price of a mid-tier SUV. The momentum has shifted, the technology gap is widening, and we're on the losing side. This car is IM and China declaring, we don't compete, we redefine, and they're absolutely right. So let me ask you, if the IM Lick 6 was available in the US for $50,000, would you buy it over a Tesla Model S or a BMW i5? Would you trust a brand you've never heard of if it offered this level of insanity? Or does the badge still matter more? 
I need to know, because logically, this is a no-brainer, but emotionally, I'm still clinging to the brands I grew up with. This is reality now, folks. The IM Lick 6 isn't just a car, it's proof that made in China means made with technology that doesn't exist anywhere else. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button. It genuinely helps the algorithm. Subscribe for more insane car content, including one vehicle that can literally change its wheelbase on command. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace.